Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep clean on my entire townhouse. I'll be cleaning like the walls and the baseboards and this really mysterious yellow liquid on the wall in the bathroom. And make sure that you stick around until the end so you can see the handrail transformation because that's the most satisfying part. So let's jump right into the extreme deep clean with me. So for this, I'm going to be using the Method All-Purpose Cleaning Spray, some microfiber towels, the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, a mask and some gloves, and Clorox disinfecting wipes. Okay, so first we need to tackle this pile. I need to fold organize and put this all in my closet but before I do that I actually need to clean the closet so let's head over there now I'm gonna start by cleaning the walls and you might be wondering why I'm cleaning the walls in a townhouse that we just moved into and that's because the people who lived here before us they did not take very good care of this place and they had a cat that literally peed like everywhere so the carpets were replaced but I need to make sure that I get all the cat pee off the walls um, and then I clean this cork board and you can see at the bottom it's quite dirty I believe that's from the baseboard heating but it did come right up so this was very satisfying to clean Okay, and then to finish up in here, I'm gonna wipe the shelves down and get them ready for my clothes, which, speaking of, I can work on this pile now. Um, I'm gonna get it all folded and put away, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm finished with that. All right, and that's it for the closet. I'm so grateful to have enough room to hold all of my stuff and I'm just so happy with the way that it came out. So up next is the master bathroom and this was not the worst room in the house, but it did smell really bad like pee in here and um, me and my husband refused to use it until it was all clean. So I wanted to start again by cleaning down all of the walls. And I did start with the method cleaning spray, but off camera, I did go back over that with some Clorox wipes um, because I don't want to like just wipe the germs around. I want to actually disinfect and kill any bacteria that remained. Um, here's another really good shot of the wall. Now remember earlier I did say that it smelled like pee in here and I don't know this kind of looks like pee. Like it kind of looks like somebody started at one end and just worked their way down to the other. Um, I don't know for sure but again I'm going to wipe that all down and then follow it up with a Clorox wipe.
this bathtub kind of surprised me. So remember, we just moved into this townhouse. It should have already had like a janitorial cleaning done on it, um, but the bathtub had a lot of dirt and thankfully it came right up, which was really nice. And looking back, I should have used a magic eraser here, but whatever, I just did what I could with what I had at the time. Okay, so we're almost done with all of the upstairs stuff. Um, the only thing that I have to do up here is put all of this away. That's it for the upstairs. Now I did have to clean the master and guest bedrooms off camera only because we needed to use those. Um, so I had to get them cleaned ASAP. But don't worry, there's still plenty more to go. We're gonna move on to the downstairs bathroom. This room has got to be in the running for one of the most disgusting and vile rooms that I have ever been in. There was dirt everywhere. There was like brown marks on the wall. I don't understand what that is or how it got there. And let's not forget our very mysterious and disturbing liquid on the wall behind the toilet. Again, not quite sure how that got there. Looks like maybe some more really weird brown marks that I don't really want to know what they are. So let's get this place cleaned. So this area especially needs like two wipe downs basically. I'm gonna start with the urine remover, wipe that with a magic eraser, and then when I'm done with that, I'll follow it up with that rubbing alcohol solution that I showed you guys earlier, just to make sure again that I'm getting all of the bacteria.
finally this bathroom is clean. We can use it. <laughs> My husband and I can both come in here. We can let our cats come in here and we don't have to feel like it's a biohazard or something. But I'm just so relieved to finally get this one done. Next up is the kitchen and I'm gonna begin by doing the dishes because these were really bad. They had piled up for a long time. So let's get that done and then we're actually gonna move into the pantry. The pantry, it wasn't too bad, but it did kind of smell a little bit. Um, it kind of smelled like old food, kind of musty. So I really wanted to clean every surface in the pantry. And then I did have to like air it out a lot. Um, I keep the door open still to this day. So that way I can get rid of that smell. And it's pretty much almost gone, but this room is just so old and you can see there were so many stains and pieces of like old food everywhere. Some areas wouldn't come up at all and other areas took a lot of labor like this area. The kitchen took me a really long time. There were so many surfaces where there was food and grease and dirt. So I had to clean all of that and most of it I did off camera. Um, you're gonna see me wipe down a few things here including the outside of the cabinets. Um, but this was very time consuming and it really hurt my back. Okay, so we finally made it to the stairway. Now this handrail is absolutely horrible. I mean, there's dirt on like every single square inch. It's all over the posts, all over the underside. It's absolutely everywhere. I really don't think that this handrail has been cleaned since it was painted. I 
I did a little experiment during this. I wanted to see how the Safeway eraser pads stood up against the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Now you can see that the Safeway brand is a little bit thinner, but after I clean the entire handrail with these, I noticed that they're really comparable to one another. Um, right here I'm using the Magic Eraser, and this one I really like the way it feels in my hand. It's very kind of like squishy, and I like the texture of it, and it does a really good job at cleaning. Obviously, you know, it's the classic. Um, and then up next, I use the Signature Select, which is the Safeway brand on the other side, and I gotta say that this really stood up to the Magic Eraser. It did a great job at holding on to moisture. It did a extremely comparable job at wiping everything down and lasting just as long as the Magic Eraser. So if anybody out there is wondering if the Magic Eraser is the best of the best, um, I would say maybe not. Maybe you can find some others that are very comparable and a little bit more cost effective. I mean, these are gonna go straight in the trash anyway, so why do you wanna spend too much money on them?
the last area that I'm going to be cleaning today is the entryway. And of course, this was pretty bad because it's right by the front door and you get all of the dirt and water coming in. So I just gave that a quick spray and wipe down and then we're going to move on to the front door. Off camera, I did wipe down all of these walls, but I want to show you the door. The door was pretty bad near the bottom, and thankfully all of that came up. Now I do have a bonus area for you guys. The only reason that this isn't included in everything else is because I have no during shots. Um, the porch was absolutely covered in pine needles when we came here, but my husband, um, he cleaned all of that up and so now it looks so much better. I do want to do something with the ivy because I heard that ivy can be poisonous to cats. So I kind of want to get rid of that, but I'm just so happy to have this really cute little outdoor space. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. This is my first video that I ever made for YouTube and I would love to stick around and do some DIYs, some makeovers, some hauls. So if you like this video, if you liked me, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.